I'm gonna be doing a little painting in acrylic. First thing I'm gonna do is my large brush. This is gesso. It's a white loose paint that has a binder in it. Okay. The top half. And then I'm gonna take the corner of my brush, touch a little bit of alizarin on one side, a little bit of phthalo blue on the other, and basically go across a little more blue. And basically what the gesso does is it allows the paint to glide smoothly across. I think I picked up a little bit of green, so let's pick up a little more blue and get rid of that. There we go. Now as I work my way down a little bit, you'll see that they sort of blend a little bit. Clean my brush off. Good paint you can clean with water, but don't let it dry in your brushes because it will ruin your brush. Your brush will get stiff and fail you over them. Okay, I'm gonna pick up a fan brush, and a fan brush it looks just like that, just like a fan. I'm gonna pick up some titanium white. Titanium white is a heavy paint, unlike the gesso, which is a loose white. And I'm gonna load both sides of the brush and doing little circles with the corner of the brush. Basically, I'm adding some clouds. I can flip it over, put some over on this side. And it's just little tiny circles with the corner of the brush. All right. With my clean dried brush here, a large one, I'm going to kind of lift up a little bit. Clean it. I'm going to use the corner, sort of brush out the bottom of it, kind of blend it into the sky. Then lightly, lightly, very lightly, I'm gonna go across. I kind of clean the brush a little bit in between. I've got some heavy paint there. Right in here, I'm just gonna brush that in a little bit. All right, let's flip that up a little bit there. Maybe right there. All right, we have our sky in. Nice, nice bright sky. I'm gonna take a touch of yellow, get some white, a little bit of the white gesso, right in here. I'm gonna add a nice bright spot. Go back into the white. Pull that out just a little bit and we'll kind of bring it back. Alright, I brought this clamp down to hold that down steadier. I had it off so that I can finish the sky. So now that I've got that, I'm going to go back into my white gesso and that across the bottom. Pick up a little bit more. Then I'm going to work it up right into that yellow a little bit. And I don't want it quite as bright as I have it. I don't want to lose it. But I do want to tone it down a little bit. Okay. I am going to take some white the touch of yellow in it and it's basically on my finger a little more white in there and right in here I'm gonna put a 
little circle where the sun is. Wipe that off my finger. And I'm just going to take a small fan brush and kind of pull that out. Kind of blur the edges. Take a touch more of the white and yellow. You can do this as many times as you want to get it to the brightness you want. Just get a little touch more yellow in here. Take a little bit of the white and yellow, mostly white. Kind of maybe kind of like that. Yeah. Clean my big brush. Dry it off real good. into my yellow and white on my finger and we're gonna pull that out and maybe a little touch more white that really bright some green, touch of the blue in it, mostly green, just want it dark, that's why I'm adding a little bit of the blue in it, and back here, we're going to just tap along there, giving us a area where some land, trees, Keep it dark. I'm sort of pounding my brush now into it so that these are sort of open and I'm going to kind of lift up just, just a bit. Like there's some trees, grass, something, something is growing back there. And I can even pull some down. The background's getting a little dry. I've got a little spray bottle. All it is is water. It's a mister. I'm just going to mist it a little. Not too much. You don't want it running down. Did you see how much better that pulls down, just keeps that gesso damp, and I'll pull up a little more, bring it in here. Alright, I've got a little bit of background, take my big brush and just sort of go across here, Maybe even pull a little more. I'm going to take some of the 
Ooh, that's run. A touch of the blue. Along with the some gesso. Pull some of that color down in there. We'll clean that brush. Rip it off. We got something on there. That's all right. You know the nice thing about acrylics. If you get a spot you don't like, let it dry, you can paint right over it. Okay. Let's grab just a touch of that green. Not much, just kind of tapped it. And then I'm going to kind of push those together a little bit. All right. Let me clean that brush. Dry it real good on my paper towel. And I'm going to pull across. Get some reflections in that water. And I'm just going to take some blues. Some of the gesso. some green in there so I'm gonna pull just right through right in the center don't want it all over and now I'm gonna pick up a little bit of up titanium white just a touch of the alizarin Maybe a touch of the blue. Got different colors on the brush here. And I'm kind of, kind of right through the center here. And this is on a fan brush. And make sure you, it goes straight across when you've got water. I'm going to clean that. Now I want to pick up a little yellow. Now be careful with the yellow against the blue because you're going to end up with green it's mostly white here with that touchy yellow it's the same color as the sun here and then right here i'm just gonna kind of back and forth pick up more white and yellow and just kind of that sunlight sort of playing down through there all right with my clean big brush i'm gonna gently go across Back the other way. Take that fan brush, pick up some more of the whites, yellows. If it doesn't come off, just add a touch of water, but not too much. Right, right. There's where that sun kind of reflects real bright. Get a little, trying to pick up enough yellow. And then, of course, as it goes down, just kind of hits, hits there and there. It looks good. I'm going to clean that fan brush. You can pull it out a little, but I don't want to pull it out as much as I did before. I don't want to lose it. There we go. All right. So I have my bigger fan brush here. Pick up some of the greens, just a touch of the blues. Load both sides of the brush up. Over here, I'm going to put a little evergreen coming down. And all it is is you're using the corner, just the very corner of the brush. You just sort of touch, use the corner, back and forth. If you run out of paint, flip it over, use the opposite corner. 
If it's not coming off, just touch your water a little bit back into your paints. Kind of loosen it up. There's another one. And by putting these on the side here, it sort of brings your eye in more towards the center. Keeps you from, your eye from wandering off the side of the painting. Okay. Maybe on the other side, we're going to have a big one right here. It goes right up to the top. Nice little tall one. Like I said, it's just tapping back and forth. Let the brush bend down so you get those branches hanging down. Small one over here with just something to cover that edge. So you can go in and touch a little bit of the white. Touch of the little of the yellow, same color I use for the sun. And back up the top. I don't want, I don't want white. I want a little bit of yellow in there because I don't want look like snow on the trees. I but I do want some highlights. And it can get darker, darker as it goes down. And as it goes down, you automatically pick up some more of that darker green as you're working your way down. So it does automatically get darker. Yeah, no, we're same thing here. Let's start with the tree over here. Darker, darker. And flip it over. And the same thing here. All right, we've got a couple evergreens there going. Well, I got the fan brush. I'm just going to lightly clean it a little bit back into the greens. Touch of the blues. And I'm just going to lightly, almost like a line across here, which separates the water. You can lift up a little bit there, but it just kind of separates the water from the tree line. And I've got my knife, and I'm just going to tap it in some of the white gesso. Just so I have a little bit on the edge and I'm just gonna literally cut a line across gives you a little water line you can even right here where the Sun is hidden bring a little bit out right through there okay, just wiping that off okay back to my greens Touch of the blues. This time I'm going to add just a touch of that white and yellow to it. Just lightening it up a little bit. Then I'm kind of pushing up here. Go in toward the, some of the darker ones. Maybe under the tree it's a little darker. It's And basically what I'm doing is I'm covering the white. And as I push up, letting those bristles bend. Maybe it comes along the bottom there. All right. I'm gonna go into my yellows. Same dirty brush, I haven't cleaned it. All I'm doing is picking up some yellows maybe just a touch of the red or maybe a touch of the yellow ochre and with the corner of the brush there's a couple little bushes out there go back into some of my darker greens and then i'm going to add a little bit of color in there that's just pushing up. Let me go into tapping a little more of my reds. Maybe there's a, oh, there is a nice bright, bright red one there. Yellows. Not even cleaning my brush, just picking up different 
different colors as I go along. Let's darken that. That's a little bright back there. You don't want to get it too bright too soon. As you come forward, you're going to see more color, more brightness, the sun hitting it. Okay. And then you can just sort of tap. And as you tap, you keep, the more you tap, it gets to be like, almost like velvet. It just keeps pushing that color in. Okay, let's, how about some more of the reds? I like that. Oh, nice, nice bright one right there. And even lift up a little bit, like some grass is growing. Back to the yellows. Yellow ochre, bright yellow, maybe a touch of the white in it. Just, just a little bit of everything. Got some bright yellows. There's some grasses growing back in here. You can kind of see I just kind of lift up. It's looking good. Let's go back into my dark greens. Touch of the blue. Maybe over here. Something's coming out. And this one I'm going to kind of pull down into the water. Let's take my small fan brush, pick up a touch of the blue, some of the white gesso. Bring some of that blue across. get into some of them dark greens it's kind of I'm just I'm not doing a tree I'm just kind of putting right where those trees would be just kind of there and I'm gonna kind of pull that down and even pick up a touch of the white on my brush Kind of streak a few. Back in the gesso, a little bit of that blue. Right here, you can kind of bring some of that water as if it's kind of flowing across here. Just kind of pull that out a little bit, pull that down, go across real good. All right, back to my dark greens. Right there. I'm going to go into my touch of my red on the corner. Maybe a bright red bush there. Some yellow. It's a yellow bush coming out in the water. Let's pick up some whites. Let's give it a little bit of land right in there to sit on. Pull up some grasses here and there. We got a nice little land there. Let's see. And where's my knife? Get that little roll the white on there. There is the shoreline. And right here. Comes in. Comes out here. Okay. We can even take, put a few water lines out here. This is just a simple little sort of sunset You know what? We can even do some rays of sunshine here. Where's my get my clean fan brush here? 
make sure it's clean and dry. Even take your finger and kind of pull it out. I think I'm going to go back in to my whites. But just that touch of yellow, or is that yellow? Let me get some of that touch of yellow. Just in the center area a little bit. There. Get that nice and bright. Just touch it and wipe the excess off. Yeah. There we are. I mean, you don't have to put the rays of light in if you don't want to. You can if you want to. That's up to you. Let's go in. Just look around, see what it needs. Maybe, maybe here a little brighter on the edge there. It's catching a little of the sunlight. And of course, we need our water lines over there. Alright, we can kind of Hold down a little bit. Water line there. Need another one here. We can stop there. Or if you'd like, you can take a little bit of your reds and greens, mix them, get a little brown. Here we just got a little tree, something, something growing there. This is just my bright reds, and I drag it through one side a little bit of the white, give it a little highlight, just a little twig there. It doesn't go off. Add a little water to it. Just a little twig there and pick up a little yellow and green. We sort of pull it into the ground. You can even do a few grasses here and there. So I think we got finished painting here. If you want, you can you can certainly take a little lizard, a little all our dark colors. Just got one little bird flying in here. Get my reds, get it nice and wet and juicy. We're gonna sign this one, call it a finished painting.
Yeah, fix that. We have a nice finished little painting.